matter what fate brings us, so welcome to... This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. No matter what fate brings us, so welcome... I know my way around a I always welcome Fred. At the house of Anini. I know my way around. You don't remember much. Ask me about areas you want.
I always welcome... A great weapon calls for... I'll use my power to help. The reborn! No! 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 
I dedicate this is the power. to the followers of the truth!
Why be humble? I am evolved! A better man! I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? <laughs> to admit some surprise. I didn't expect you to be as rational as we are. I'm impressed, even if it's a lie. I'm sorry I underestimated you for being a puppet. You're open-minded enough to hear the truth about the petrification disease. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet, and I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the Alchemists, isn't hospitable. visited that place. That's something, I guess.
Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure, and never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Uh, are you there? C can, can you hear me? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? <gasps> we knew you were a true friend. And generous. <laughs> That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. On that note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the Alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us, so... I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here, a small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Now go. I never forget a friendly face. I never forget a friendly face. Now go. Honestly, I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet... Thank you. Truly. I'm not saying I'm ready to set up housekeeping, or that I even trust you. <laughs> but given time, I think we could become actual friends. Honestly. I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet... Wow! Uh, you need me? I was surprised when the bell rang. The Isle of Alchemists, you say? And monsters. This is a nightmare. I'm living my own nightmare. Puppets and alchemists forget it. It is their secret island, a place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there? <sighs> what about... I don't know if it even works anymore. But one still requires fuel, needs must when the devil drives. There could still be a way. A dangerous but marvelous mode of transportation. But it won't work without a golden ergo. My research, well, Pulcinella did a lot of the heavy lifting, has led me to believe you can find one deep within the barren swamp. It's also led me to believe it is guarded by actual monsters. So I can't make this decision for you. It's up to you. No, I'm not going to tell you the details yet. Not until we have that golden ergo. It's just not worth getting our hopes up, compagno.
So you met Simon. I've been dreading this conversation. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future. Even worse than the carcass monsters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please, save Krat. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener. To bear witness. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me, in this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out, wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Petrification disease, puppet frenzy, and carcass monsters don't happen by chance. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside Krat. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? I get the puppets, but what are the monsters doing here? What is happening to Krat? I get the puppets. What is happening to Krat? At the house of Anini. I hear there is a new guest at the hotel, and that you had a little something to do with that. 
I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers. Everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ha! <laughs> and here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares, huh? <laughs> now, let's get out there and save my... That is our city. Ah, <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of... conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand Ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes Ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So, the King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo Wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple, brilliant genius and a man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. I always welcome friends. May I be of... Will you do... um... me a favor? For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just... give this to Alidoro? I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. I know my way around a weapon. Have no idea. Thanks for keeping me company. Ask me about areas you...
Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. People have no ideas. Thanks for keeping me company. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. S sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. Stalker, please. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. Stalker. I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I... cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. No matter what fate brings us, serving her is my duty. Welcome to Hotel Krat. People have no ideas. Thanks for keeping me company.
it's you. Come here. I've been in such a good mood all day. I have a feeling I'll be in better shape in no time. Oh, and you better not underestimate me just because I'm not as spry as I used to be. I know you and Polandina are up to something. <laughs> Still, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Only kind people can give others this sort of happiness. I always treasure a day like today. <laughs> Thank you. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me. No matter what fate brings us, serving her is my duty. Welcome. you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener, to bear witness. Bosses work hard too, you know. choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener. Oh, 
This device must be powered by gold coin fruit. A new life for an old puppet. This place is... Okay, there's no easy way to say this, but it's a puppet graveyard. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but eventually had much bigger concerns. If the Grand Exhibition's horrific solution spread this far too, it's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it?
Stalker, please. Bosses work. The bosses work.
Those damn alchemists. The terms of the bargain. Almost intolerable. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. Ahem. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something, since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow, gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair. Rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Now catch your interest? If you're hunting ergo monsters, you might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that... What's this? A gift for a rescuer. From a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her, I suppose. Oh. <coughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh. <coughs> Never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey.
So they do exist. Other hobbits like me not bound by the Grand Covenant. I thought I was forever alone. Without the Covenant, my kind hates me. Monsters, humans, puppets, they all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. If I learn how to feel, would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. I want to learn how to feel. Hello, my only friend. What have you come to tell me? Clapping is... Uh, the mimicry of a joyful heart. It's good to feel alive. <laughs> Thanks. Hello, my only friend. Ref. About my request last time, did you give Ali Dodo the gloves? Phew. Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Ali Dodo happy? What? His fingers are fine? That can't be right. And no, I'm not being precious about my work. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. Something to puzzle over. In any case, thanks for doing your part. You have a moment to talk about Alidoro? I know I sound obsessed, but... When the workshop tower collapsed, he saved me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble. If it wasn't for Ali Doro's sacrifice back then... I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. That's why it's so puzzling. It's not like his finger could grow back. Could you find out more about Ali Doro for me? If I called it surveillance, would that be too cruel? In any case, we need to watch out. You be careful, too. I know my way around a weapon. I know my way around a weapon.
Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you.
Ah, this must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Grant cannot have any more live patients. Trust me, it's better this way. Tis far nobler to die as a human. And if you're not alive, then you must be dead. That's just logic. In my judgment as a doctor, all should end while they're still humans. My judgment as a doctor, all should end while they're still human.